Good morning and thank you for waking up with us. I'm Kara Sewell. Greg and Tashara are here with me at Victory Park this morning and Marcus took us working from home again. We're going to get to weather and traffic in just a minute, but first we're following some breaking news out of Grand Prairie where a large fire has been burning for hours. So this is all happening at Poly America plant, not far from the President George Bush Turnpike. We do have team coverage following all angles, including traffic impacts. We're going to begin here with Chris Sadegi this morning and what we know, and obviously this is a massive fire visible certainly for miles. You could see it coming down I-30, Kara. Really, this started around 1 o'clock. This is the Poly America building in Grand Prairie. You can see it burning behind me, and it is burning very hot, very fast. If you look at the image from our helicopter, you'll see it's kind of a straight line, a straight thin line of the fire, sending the smoke way up into the sky. We're not sure the if the building itself is on fire, it looked like from the satellite images there were some kind of materials stored right there. Now I can tell you from Poly America's website, they say that they are producing several product lines all within the polyethylene family, and that includes the highest quality trash bag manufacturer in the United States. So we're not sure if potentially that is on fire or not. I can tell you that out here live it has created quite the show for this neighborhood. A lot of cars are out here. They've pulled up to the creek that's between us and where the fire is, and they're just sitting there and watching this thing burn. It is quite the sight, lighting up the night. Like I said, started around one o'clock when we started getting some of the social media images. And also, this is somewhat of a perimeter that's been blocked off. We're on the other side of the creek, but the streets leading to that area have been shut down. Tashara, do you have an update on what roads are open and closed? Yeah, I do, Chris. Thank you for your update. I appreciate that. Um, this is a live look right now from HD Chopper A, just showing you guys really what's going on out there. I'm going to come in the studio to show you another look at uh, our camera angles that we have out there. Again, this is right at 360 and Division. You can see that it is a mess out in that area. This is in Grand Prairie. Uh, the site of the fire is 2000 West Marshall Drive. I've already had people on Instagram uh, basically saying they have people that live in that area. So, of course, make sure you check on them. Let me know what's going on uh, once you hear back. This is closer to the President George Bush Turnpike, like we mentioned early on, all lanes right now on 360, you're not going to have any problems. I double check with TxDOT just to make sure. So right now, if you're going 360 north or southbound and you're passing Park Road 303, you're not going to have any issues out there. Roads that are currently impacted right now, Spur 303. OK, Great Southwest Parkway. That's one area that I typically uh, tell you guys to take if there are issues on 360. So you're not going to be able to take Great Southwest Parkway. East Park Road uh, very well could be shut down a little later today, depending on how this fire uh, ends up turning out. But again, this is right at Poly America, a little bit closer to the George Bush Turnpike, about three miles or so uh, from 360. So just be careful out there right now. You're not going to be able to take Spur 303 at all. Now, if you don't have our WFAA app on your phone, now is a great time to download it, of course. This is a developing story, so we'll continue putting updates on the fire and traffic it's causing on our app. It's available on the Apple and Google Play Store. Greg, over to you. All right. Unfortunately, the uh, wind's very light to calm here this morning, so that uh, won't add to the uh, issues fanning the flames out there for you this morning. 